to some degree, we are already a cyborg. Over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have Michael Jordan level talent at something, and I want you to find it, embrace it, and use it to make a difference. So, to help you on your journey today, we're going to talk about how humans will become cyborgs and Elon Musk's solution to the AI problem. Also, if you want to know what Elon Musk and other successful entrepreneurs have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence series where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a short 30 second to five minute video for free to help you build your confidence. Check out the link in the description below. I think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there, there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. I don't think we're going to have a choice. Universal basic Un income. Universal basic income. I think it's going to be necessary. So it means that unemployed people will be paid across the globe? Yeah. Because there is no job? Machine, robot is taking over? There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. Okay. Um, that, that's simply the, the, and I want to be clear that these, these are not uh, things that I think that I wish would happen. These are think, simply things that I think probably will happen. Um, and since, and if, they, if, if, if my assessment is correct and they probably will happen, then we need to say what are we going to do about it? And I think some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. Um, now, the output, the output of goods and services will be extremely high. Um, so with automation, um, they, will, they will come abundance. Um, there will be, uh, almost everything will get very cheap. Um, the, uh, it's, so it, it, I think the, the biggest, I think we'll just end up doing uh, universal basic income, it's going to be necessary. Um, the, the, the harder challenge, much harder challenge, is how do people then have meaning? Like a lot of people, they derive their meaning from their employment. So if you don't have, if, if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, how do you, how, what's the meaning? Do you, do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are much, that's a much harder problem to deal with. Um, and then how do we ensure that the future is going to be the future that we want, that we still like? Um, no, I mean, I do think that there's a potential path here which is, and we're really getting into science fiction or create, create, you know, sort of uh, advanced science stuff, but having some sort of uh, merger with biological intelligence and machine intelligence. Um, to, to some degree, we are already a cyborg. Um, you, th like, uh, you think of like the, the digital tools that you have, your phone, your computer, the applications that you have, like the fact that, as I was mentioning earlier, you can ask a question and instantly get an answer uh, from Google or, or you know, from other things. And, uh, and so you already have a digital tertiary, tertiary layer. I say tertiary because you can think of the limbic system, kind of the, the animal brain or the primal brain, and then the cort cortex, kind of the thinking, planning part of the brain, and then your digital self as a, as a third layer. Um, the, so you already have that, and, and it's like if somebody dies, their digital ghost is still around. You know, all of their emails and their, the pictures that they posted and their social media, that still lives, even if they physically, if, if, if they died. So, over time, I think we will probably see a, um, a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. And it's mostly about the, the bandwidth, the speed of the connection between your brain and your digital, the, the digital extension of yourself. Um, particularly output. Like when, and, and output, if anything, is getting worse. You know, we, we used to have like keyboards that we'd use a lot. Now we do most of our input through our thumbs. 
um, on a phone. And that's just very slow. A computer can communicate at a trillion bits per second, but your thumb can maybe do, I don't know, 10 bits per second or 100 if you're being generous. Um, so some ha high bandwidth interface to the brain I think will be something that uh, helps achieve a symbiosis and between human and machine intelligence and maybe solves the control problem and the usefulness problem. Going back to the AI situation, um, like this is quite an important, uh, quite an important debate. Like the, if you assume any rate of advancement in AI, um, we will be left behind by a lot. Um, and so then we could be in, like, you know, benign, but the, even the benign situation, if you have some, you know, if you have ultra intelligent AI, um, we would be, you know, so, so far below them in intelligence that it would be, would be like, you know, a pet, basically. Pet, that's what I was thinking. Like a pet. Cat, like, a cat, like a cat. Like a cat. Elon It'd be like the a house cat. cat. Yeah, right. it would be like the house cat. Right. Um, and, um, yeah, it's not, that's, it's not the end of the world, you know. It's just, you well, know, sort of pet. You've seen the movie, it could be. Yeah. It could be, it could be. Um, the, you know, so that, but that, honestly, that, that would that'd be the benign scenario. Mm -hmm. um, and So house cat is okay. I mean, I don't love the idea of being a house cat. Okay. Um, but, but that, so what's the solution? Yeah, so I think the, um, I, I, think, I, think it, I think it's to essentially, I think one of the solutions, the solution that, that seems maybe the best one is to have an AI layer. Um, if you think of like you've got your limbic system, um, your cortex, and then um, a digital layer, a sort of a third layer above the cortex um, that um, could work, work well and symbiotically with, with you. I mean, just as your cortex works symbi symbiotically with your limbic system, your sort of a third digital layer could work symbiotically with the rest this of This is something that's in, in surgically inserted or bred so, into the species or what? The, the fundamental limitation is input output. So uh, we, we already have, uh, we, we're already a cyborg. Um, it's just that, I mean, you have a digital version of yourself or, or partial version of yourself online in the form of your emails and your social media and all the things that you do. Um, and, and you have basically superpowers in, in that with your computer and your phone and, and the applications that are there. Um, you have more power than the President of the United States had 20 years ago. That you can answer any question, uh, you can video conference with anyone um, right. anywhere, you can send a message to millions of people instantly. Effectively merging in a symbiotic way with uh, digital intelligence revolves around eliminating the I.O. constraint. Um, so it would be some sort of direct cortical interface. Um, and you called it a neural lace. Neur neural lace, yeah. Um, it's totally not Google Glass, right? No, I, I'm talking about something which. No, but it's which, like you wear it. Or you... No, I mean it would be. Uh, I mean, I mean there are a few ways to approach this, but some sort of interface directly with your cortical neurons, particularly. But doesn't that imply uh, surgical insertion? Not or? necessarily. You could go through the veins and arteries because that, that provides a, a complete uh, roadway to um, all of your neurons. Your neurons are very heavy users of energy, so they need high blood flow. So you automatically, with your veins and arteries, have um, a road network to your neurons. Still so, some kind of surgery, right? Um, yes, but it, you could insert something, you know, basically, you know, in, 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 into the jugular and, and have... <laughs> It gets macabre, but it sounds I mean, really easy and it, it doesn't involve risk it doesn't it doesn't involve you know like chopping your your, your skull off or anything like that. That's yeah. good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to know what are your thoughts about humans becoming cyborgs and the solution to the AI problem. Please let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon.
Altruistic, world domination, honey empire, right? I'm grateful, I understand why I'm here. I think because I am so open. I wanted to think and see. It's a bloody brief life. All of you have the potential for enormous success. If you want to know what Gary V, DJ Khaled, Oprah, and others know about empire building that most people miss, check out the link in the description for a free bonus video.